Hey guys, hello America. My name is Will Moore and I'm a photographer. And I get in my car and travel throughout the country looking for that next great shot. So come on. Well, hello guys, it's Will again here with another Somewhere in America. And guys, this week I didn't show an on location video. However, I did go on location and I found this great statue somewhere in America. And I thought this view, it was early in the morning, I thought this view was great. So what I did is that I, I, I shot this particular statue and I, and I did it in from all different angles and one thing one of the things that you want to remember guys as an artist is that you always want to move around your subject matter um, and, and take uh, shots or pictures uh, of your uh, subject matter um, all the way around because you, you might uh, capture something different or you might see something different so I did bracketed shots on this because I want, I'm not necessarily for an HDR, but again, of course, I'll probably use that program, but I'm just trying to get uh, a wider range of, 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 of multiple, um, of the multiple images, um, just a wider range of, of image, and I want to pull out as much as I can out of the, out of the piece. So I took it, I took it from, um, from a distance. I, I thought I'd like that, and with the trees around uh, as a kind of a uh, border and then I um, a bracket of that then I took it a, I took it as a uh, first as a as a landscape and then I, I, I shot it as a portrait and then I, I didn't didn't really like that so then I decided to move around a little bit so I came and I, I decided to get an upward shot and as you can see, there's really, really nothing in the clouds. But I mean, there is something there. But you know, we'll we'll pull it out. I would pull it out. So I decided to do something like that, and I thought that'd have a nice, like a nice nobility. And probably I could do something with that later. Then, so then I went ahead and I shot. I shot it with the statue off to the side, and I thought that this gave the best look. Um, I also shot it like this. And um, and then of course I shot it from more of a distance so that I and I got that in there. But um, I, I settled on this right here. Okay, so I decided I decided to go with these right here. So let's without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and take the let me see. I shot this one at um, one twenty one um, two hundred fifty of a second at f nine ISO two fifty. And of course, I got I bracketed it. It's at 160, and um, it's pretty it's pretty pretty a uh, sharp pretty sharp image. Um, you can you can see there is some chromatic aberration. Remember, when I've always talked to you guys about the chromatic aberration. You see that these little fringes right here, are the little purple, that's chromatic aberration. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and while I'm showing you that, let's go ahead and get rid of it. I'll enable for profile correction. And then I'll remove chromatic aberration. Now I did a little bit. As you can see, it took it away. See, that's it. And now it's gone. There it is. And now it's gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, start my workflow as I always do. Um, let's see. Uh, shoot this on. Uh, let's try tungsten. Nope, tungsten is too blue. Shade. And let's try daylight. And uh, let's no, let's go for let's go for cloudy. Cloudy is pretty nice. And I want to warm this up just a little bit, just a little bit, a little magenta. And uh, I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm going to bring up the shadows. I'm going to hold down the Alt key until I see some pixels, and I do. And I'm going to back off of that. Then I'm going to go into the blacks until I see some a few blacks. I don't want that many, that much black. There we go. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the exposure a little bit. Bring up the the contrast. Alrighty. Go ahead and bring 
in some of that yellow, more magenta. Okay, it was really, really a, a, a cloudy day. Didn't have a whole lot. Um, a little clarity. I'll add, let's add a little clarity in there. I want this image to really be sharp, a little vibrance. And let's bring up the saturation a little bit more. So we'll bring out more color. There we go. Nice saturation. I'll be starting to bring out some of the yellows here and some of those things. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and add. Um, let me see. Let's, let's, let's see what we can do with the yellows here. A little yellow, a little red. All righty. Let me grab an ND filter. And I'm going to hold down shift and bring that filter straight down here. All right. And I'm going to go to the right with a little yellow and a little magenta. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the exposure down just a little bit there. All right. And let's go ahead and bring that up. And as you can see, we got tone here and a tone there. We don't want, we don't, we're not going for dual tone. So I'll go up to the shadows and Okay, if you see that little circle right there, that's just a little, I don't know what's going on with my system. Sometimes I lose my cursor. I don't know what's happening, but it's just to let you guys know where I am um, um, in the state of, uh, or in the thick of things. Okay, all right, let's hit done on that. I don't want this uh, little marquee there that looks, kind of, that looks really awful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do auto, do the uprightness. That's got rid of it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and crop that just a little above. There we go. Alrighty. Hit enter. Okay. We're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And we're going to add textures in these uh, on this particular piece when we get over into Photoshop. Okay. So let me go ahead and let me uh, select these three. Let me go ahead and sync. Check all. Synchronize. Alrighty, and they're they're already synchronized. Let me go ahead and bring down some of the exposure on the whites here, just a little bit. There we go. And uh, okay, that's looking good. Alrighty, and now let's go ahead and edit, edit, and to merge to HDR. And while that's doing that, I'll pause. Okay, guys, we're here in, um, we've already merged our image to, um, to HDR Pro. Okay, and as usual, this is going to be a real quick process here. Let's remove ghosting. I'm going to go up here to where the presets are. And, of course, I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to choose uh, photorealistic. Okay. Um ghosting again and photorealistic my radius I'm going to let's go up to 91 let's see what happens there about 90 already put on edge smoothness we'll bring the strength uh, probably bring the strength well let's bring the strength up a little bit yeah there we go I like that let's bring the strength up as I said before we're not going for the HDR look all right See, that would be going for the HDR look. I'm not going for that. All right. So let's bring this gamma down a little bit. Gamma, gamma, gamma. And bring the exposure down. Uh, let's bring the exposure back up. All right. And on our details, uh, let's go. Let's let's take it up to our usual uh, about 110. See, look at all the look at all the detail that just came out of that that came out of that statue and that coat. All righty. But I don't want too much detail in the sky. Okay. All right. Um, it's definitely with some vibrance and a little more saturation. All right. Just a little bit more. Let's go to the curves in our shadows. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. All righty. And in our highlights, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit right there. Okay. All right, I think that looks good right there. I'm not going to mess with anything else. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And while that's going back into Photoshop, I'll pause, and then we'll start with our textures. OK, guys, we are back again. All right. And um, 
we got a few got a few sensor spots because I was at F9. Uh, generally, when you start getting above like F above F8 to F9, you start to get a little bit more uh, sensitive. It starts to get a little bit more sensitive to uh, your lens starts to, to what to what's to what's on the lens. So let me go ahead and let's let's go ahead and take care of some of these spots right here. Uh, just a few of them. And make sure it's content aware. And that's taking care of that. And it does a pretty good job. Alright, there, 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 there. A few everywhere. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so we got mostly all of them done. All righty. Okay, I'm still thinking. See, it's kind of catch up. It's trying to catch up with my cursor because I was moving pretty fast on it. So, you know, that's one thing about it is that this is this is a machine and you got to deal with it. So, <laughs> all righty. So while that's doing that, and while I was thinking, let's pull up our, um, let's go ahead and pull up the textures here, okay? And I thought with these textures, I, I want to, there is a good friend of mine that I've just become, well, a guy that I've just become really good friends with now, and he does work in textures. His name is Michael Tassini, and I think that I've mentioned him before, and his work is just uh, phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to introduce and present some of his work on, on one of my, on ne my next episode, so you guys can see what I reason why he and I are so um, related together uh, when it comes to our work. But he uses a lot of textures in his work, and he does a lot of lot of other things. Um, makes his work really looks painterly. So in this right here, in this, I, I've decided to go with um, I've decided to go with demi jour, and I'm gonna go with a I'm gonna go with a um, tan crackle so let's go with demi jour first I'm gonna go ahead and slide that over and it's pasting and while it's pasting go ahead and hit enter and I might be going down the line on these right here so let's let's go for uh, overlay first okay that's looking really nice let's go for screen nope Go for soft light. Don't like that. Let's go for vivid light. Vivid lights look. Vivid light looks pretty cool. Um, let's go for linear. Now I'm liking linear because it's, I can see a lot of the texture coming in. So let's go ahead and um, reduce the feel. And let's go ahead and reduce the opacity a little bit. All right. And let's go ahead and duplicate that. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that up and reduce that even more, just a little bit, and reduce the opacity on the second one. Okay, I'm liking that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and add, uh, let me go ahead and, I'm going to hold Control, and I want to merge these two right here. So I'm going to merge these two layers together. All righty. And let's go ahead and put uh, put them at vivid light again. All right. Um, then I'm going to reduce the opacity, and I'm going to reduce the fill. Well, just a little bit, not too much. All right. Let's go get grab some more textures here. And I'm going to grab the crackle now. I'm starting out with two, but I might end up using more than two. So let's go ahead and. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and check that. And that, that'll set it all there in place. Let's try overlay. Let's try vivid light. Nope. Let's try screen, no. So let's try overlay, and overlay will be pretty good. And let's go ahead and reduce that. And 
let's reduce the feel a little bit. Okay. And yep, I am going to go for one more. So let's go up here and I'm going to grab PDPA artists. And let's try this one. Let's bring this one in. And you just and you and a lot of times when you're doing these textures, guys, you you're really trying things. And let's go for overlay. Okay. Now let me see. You know what? I don't like the crackle. So I'm gonna get rid of the crackle and I'm gonna keep the, the demi jour and the, the PDPA, but I am gonna add something else. I'm gonna go back to this again and I'm gonna go up here, guys, and I'm going to bring in I want to bring in um, stucco. Let's bring in ancient stucco. Let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, let's bring in the ancient stucco. All righty. Told you guys when you see that little circle pop up, that's why I'm trying to make sure let you know where I am. Okay. So let's go with um, let's go with vivid light. Oh yes, yes. That's a, let's try overlay before we do that. Oh, that's not too bad either. I like overlay. Well, let's try go. With, let's go with um, let's go with vivid light, and let's bring down the uh, bring down the opacity on vivid light. Bring down the fill just a little bit. Let's bring up the opacity, and on. PDPA, let's bring that down a little bit. Let's bring that up. The demi du jour, let's bring that down. That's what I want to bring down. And the opacity on that right there. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Hey, I'm liking what I'm seeing, so let's go ahead and flatten that. And bring all those layers together. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then I'm going to add a mask to this. I'm going to grab a brush and uh, let you guys know where I am. <laughs> okay, painting on black. And let me see. I'm going to bring that. I got that flow down. That's good. And let's go over here. Painting on white. So that's black. Let's go ahead and invert this. Um, control I. There we go. We're going to bring out some of those highlights. Oh, that's looking good. Alrighty. Not much, just something subtle. You can't see very much of it. Alrighty, and um, let's go ahead and shift. Control E. Puts those together. And uh, let's go ahead and close this out and send it back to Lightroom. When I send it back to Lightroom, I'll finish it up. Okay guys, we're back in Lightroom and here's our image. Our image is looking great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a double processing on it. Let me bring down the highlights just a little bit. Let me bring up the shadows just a little bit. Look at that beautiful color that just came out into the statue. I'm gonna hold down Alt key. I'm gonna go until I see some pixels and I see a lot. I'm gonna go down into the blacks, not too black. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead on the temperature. I'm gonna bring down the temperature. Um, well, I'm gonna keep it, keep it, keep it where it is, and bring a little magenta. Add a little contrast to it. Bring down the exposure, just a little bit. Not too much. I'm gonna grab a brush. Make sure it's on exposure. Take it up just a little bit. I'm gonna come right here. Go ahead and bring out that cape on the statue little lighted areas okay uh, let's bring out this feel a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and grab another brush little darks and I'm gonna come over here bring a little dark one thing about this is that guys remember something is that even though um, we're dealing with this statue you're still doing you're still doing a landscape and because you're still doing a landscape, you got to always remember that a, a, a good landscape, you got to have a good back, uh, a good sky, which is your background, 
you have you have, you have your, a good middle ground and have a good foreground so this is all balancing out right here because you want to make sure that the eye is, is leading very very well um, throughout the piece um, let's go ahead and add a little bit of vibrance um, on the saturation um, let's go ahead and add some uh, let's leave the saturation alone I'm sorry my apologies let's add a little clarity and um, come on down here to the sharpening bring the sharpening up let's hold down the masking remember everything that is black will not be sharpened everything that is okay and that's looking good enable profile correction just in case and let's do a little post crop vignetting just a little bit alrighty let's grab one indie filter real quick just an indie filter real quick let's see what will happen when we bring that down Take that back up. Don't you know where I am, guys. Let's open up the shadows a little bit on that. Alrighty. And let's bring up a one here. And let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. shadows are already open all right let's hit okay and a little more contrast and exposure just a little bit not too much more contrast let's go ahead and take out some of this take out some of the yellow don't want too much Okay, guys, I am loving it. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that finished. I think we had a. I think we did a great piece. I love it. Um, until then, guys. Until next time. God bless. Hope all is well. Remember, if you can't say something nice, put a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. God bless. Bye bye. Until next time.